Hello, Libra. It looks like a point of awakening happens that helps you see your situation for what it really is. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Libra Tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you are interested in the extended, there is a link to it in the description box below, along with info and links regarding personal readings, if you're interested in those. Okay, let's see where we go. Her wicked ways. Mm, okay. Number 19, that reduces all the way back down to a one new cycle. Oh, so you could hear it. Okay. The red count test. Okay. It's key to see that little bird up there in the corner and kind of whisper into her. You were able to see out of a see out of a situation or hear the guidance to get out of a situation to put something behind you. You're starting fresh. Okay. Her Wicked Ways, one of my two least favorite cards in this deck. It says, you are meant to shine bright, to be a sun, even in the cold and dark depths of winter, bringing warmth to the world. Some don't like the light. They want to freeze your enthusiasm, douse your creative fire, and rain on your parade. Don't let them. Shine your light with stubbornness and happiness. Defeat the Snow Queen and her Wicked Ways. Red Countess, deep within, you know what is true and what to do or not do. Yet there is so much noise and distraction in the world. And even at times in our own minds that listening for our inner wisdom can sound like trying to hear a gentle bird song in the midst of a rock concert. Even so, you are hearing an inner truth a deep down and deep down you know it. Can you trust that it is safe not only to hear your inner voice, but to act on it too? Yeah, you heard it. Whatever the Snow Queen, whatever this situation was, for some people it's a person. It feels more um, robust than that. It feels more, um, it feels broader. It feels more like a situation than a person, but we'll see. So you figured it out. It kind of feels like you, okay. It feels like this is, do you remember that movie, um, can love Jim Carrey. His his comedy was back in the day. Um, The Truman Show. Okay, he didn't know that he was his whole life was a movie until he started like really taking in the signs and listening to himself, going with his gut and everything. You you were in the Truman Show because <laughs> like the whole situation around you is like a matrix thing. Everyone else is just going along to get along, but you're seeing all the signs and situations like I'm not supposed to be here. This isn't right. I'm not supposed to be here. Okay. Show me what's going on with Libra, please. 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 Mmm, awakening, are we? Judgment underneath. Time. It's like you're giving yourself permission to see it too. That's um Taurus energy there with the Hierophant Page of Cups. Four of Swords, Death. Card of Scorpio. I'm hearing love isn't enough. Three of Coins, Emperor. Card of Aries, Knight of Swords. Where's my tea? Okay. Hmm. I'm reading this is y'all. This is them. Situation. Okay. It doesn't even feel like this is a them. This feels like you after you choose to start over. Giving yourself permission to start over. We'll see what it leads to. Okay. But it looks like in particular there is emotional attachment to an emperor 
husband, father, authority figure, boss. Okay. That that is that is over. Okay. Um, there is ouch. Okay. There is something here where it's telling me that um this emperor prefer, this this emperor preferred this water sign over you kind of thing. There was like um Almost like someone stole your place in line for something valuable, like an inheritance, for example, or a promotion. Thank you. Um, there was something favored over you there. You want to get out of this like a bat out of hell. You'll go quietly. You'll have no problem with that because you see the situation for what it really is. Weird. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so far, I think it was Leo that had the highest drama um, for reading so far this week, because it's it's which baffled me because it's usually Scorpio. Um, but you might be taking the cake here. Show me the details of the Hierophant, please. Page of Swords. Page of Coins. Six of coins, done, page of wands. There's something here where you discovered, if this is family, company, business, something, where you discovered that this ten of pentacles, this thing that's supposed to be long-term stability, doesn't actually give to you, pay out to you, what it is that you need. It could be literal. If you work for the family business, you're just not really getting paid what you should, and you're supposed to put up with it because it's the family business. Or it's the environment itself. For someone, it's the environment here. Okay. Um, because I see you, like, as you separate from this, it's like the happier you get. Leo energy there with the um, sun card. There's, there's going to be some sort of um, awakening realization element for your inner child. That's going to liberate that part of you a bit more after you leave this behind. Okay. Show me the page of cups, please. Libra. Page of cups. Page of cups. Leo energy. Queen of coins. King of wands. Going after what it is that the heart wants. Knowing it's going to take more fire than... If you have earth in your chart, that's the part of you that's like, but that's a big risk and I need to feel stable. And the fire side of you is just like, we need to go. <laughs> we need to go. We need to embrace that what we want to do is what we love and get the heck out of here. Show me death, please. This person betrayed you. Whoever this Scorpio is. Yep. Eight of coins, devil card of Capricorn, three of swords. This person flat out betrayed you. Like, legit Utu Brute slaughtered Caesar where he stands. I know I'm getting dramatic, but that's how it feels. <laughs> okay. There's this this Scorpio Capricorn, whoever this is, um, brought in a level of toxicity and control into whatever this Ten of Pentacles is. Okay. I'm I'm getting in, infiltrated. Infiltrated. Interesting. We're going to see if karma strikes this person. Because the trash always takes itself out, is what I've noticed in life. <laughs> okay. Show me the Emperor, please. Two of Cups, Empress. Two of Swords, Three of Cups, Card of Taurus, and Libra. So even though there's a soul bond with this Emperor of some degree, because I'm not getting that this is Mom and Dad, you're showing up as an Empress. Okay, so you're some sort of soul family with this Emperor, and you're actively beginning to distance yourself. Um, show me if this devil is something to truly worry about, for Libra to truly worry about regarding the Eight of Coins.
you're going to learn a lot later about this person. Like, like say, if this is dad, mom and dad pass away and leave you whatever the Ten of Pentacles is, and this person tried to kind of take it. There's so much you're going to learn about them, the mess that they've made. It's faded. It's faded for it to come to light. Star. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Is this Scorpio going to get his karma? Yeah, you're going... Okay. This is someone who might go to jail. Um, because Eight of Swords, King of um King of Swords could be an attorney or a judge, justice. Okay. Party's over. Party's over. It's gonna take a while. And this is something that's going to happen later. That's not your concern. But yeah, they might go to jail. So that a win is a win is a win, right? <laughs> a win is a win. That's too many jailbird cards for me to say nothing legally happens. Nothing happens legally. And it's clear that something does. Um, so what's this? What's this Scorpio's problem? Greedy. Super greedy. And whoever they're with, they think that the situation that they have attached to this emperor solves all their problems. When do they find out that it doesn't? There it, there it is, like a jail thing again. Does this person have like a powder keg sort of temper? They just explode. Because they're showing me up and down and up and down. And like, I don't know if this is a mental illness thing um, or just an evil thing. There's those are two different things. <laughs> um, it's fated for them to suffer losses. They're going to wonder how it happened. Let them wonder. For someone quite literally in jail. As a Taurus sun sign, Libra moon, my petty ass would go visit them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Look at you! Your complexion looks great in that orange jumpsuit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah absolutely no shame none <laughs> okay let's get into this side your transition side so your decision path it's interesting that the reading very seldom does the actual format of the reading change it's usually this is who i'm reading for this is the other person this is the situation you literally jumped over to the other side of the reading Okay. Show me the Four of Swords, please. You know people are watching you, and you've got your guard up. Good for you. Do your thing. You'd be so much fucking happier. <laughs> Ten of Cups, long-term happiness. With another person. We'll get into that. Show me the Three of Pentacles, please. Justice again, there you are. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. 
forward movement into King of Swords, full Aquarian energy. We'll see if that's that Ten of Cups. Show me the Knight of Swords. So wherever it is that you start over, Taurus, Virgo energy. When this King of Swords sees you, you're going to transition and start new. You're a bit exhausted after all this shit. <laughs> okay. You're keeping to yourself. You've erected a high fence around your energy with barbed wire in the works. <laughs> so none of this can come in. You move into your new phase of life and this person comes in like a rocket. Because you have the free space for it now. Your energy literally has the free space for it now. Show me the hermit, please. God, they hope you're single. God, they hope you're single. <laughs> they know there's clearly going to be competition for them. They Oh, that's cute. They want to know what number in line they are. <laughs> I like this guy. I say guy because he's coming up as a king of swords. Capricorn energy there. <laughs> he's so cute. Can you show me a little bit more about his personality? He knows how to be a teammate. In Aquarius energy again. Triple Aquarius energy. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Empress card of Taurus and Libra. There you are. He understands, uh huh. Um, he knows meeting you is like a, a faded, miraculous, synchronistic thing that he can feel. Um, it's almost like he senses there's a pre existing foundation between you. So he's feeling what a soul bond feels, feels like. Um, he understands that the empress that he has run into is a bit, um, not sad, but a little bit down or disappointed. Um, but still asking you out anyway. <laughs> I just heard the cliche. Let's turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Show me what the intention is here. Because I know he sees you for long term. Ooh. Manifesting new love. Okay. Terrified of what it will change, but excited nonetheless. Tower energy there with Scorpio. It could hurt. Got it. It would hurt him more if he didn't choose this, if he didn't make this real. Okay. And the more he gets into it with you, the faster he wants to move forward. Chariot, card of cancer, um, lover's card of Gemini. All right. That That's a way. I'm glad there was a happy ending to this one. <laughs> Because this was just like a tidal wave of mess. But as soon as you crashed on the shoreline, you're good. You're good. Okay. I'll head over to the extended then. I'll get into him in his current energy near future and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below and i'll see you guys over there bye